Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And today I thought I would share with you my current meal planner setup and my current recipe keeper setup as well. And also set up the upcoming week in my meal planner and do a little meal plan plan with me. So if you're interested in seeing my setup for my meal planner, um, just keep on watching. So I recently just gave my meal planner a complete makeover transformation. She was needing some love. I was feeling like she needed just a little bit more <laughs> attention and love. And so I just went ahead and spent a good time with her and got her all cute. So I changed her discs to these beautiful bronze um, metal discs that I got from the, um, the Daily Agenda Butterfly Classic Planner. And of course the meal, uh, I mean the cover is the meal planner from the Happy Planner and the one with the oatmeal and blueberries on the front, it looks gorgeous. The back um, is that same design as well. And then let's open it up. So I finally managed to put my name down. I just use these holographic stickers. Um, I tend to always go all out with my name pages, but sometimes I just wanna throw down some stickers and call it good. And I feel like this page didn't really lend itself to like having a whole like nicely like drawn out design because the, the background is blue and so it would be a little difficult. But I just have 2022 here, a folder, some meal planning stickers, which these are all like meal planning and food related stickers that some of these are from fitness sticker books and some of these are from... Uh, this is from Farmhouse. These are from the recipe sticker book. So we have quite a bit of just different food related stickers in this guy here. So we have that. And for the months themselves, I alternated between using the classic meal planning pages um, that, you know, this planner came with. So like these guys here and teaching layout pages. So these guys right here. And I got these pages from one of their new teacher planners. This is from their um, the Happy Planners new back to school collection. And this thing is gorgeous. Um, I am actually, uh, I just actually just finished teaching. So I felt like I could use these pages up. Um, and I, you know, I don't really tend to use like a teacher layout for teaching. I just use like a classic vertical, but I thought that these pages, um, the teaching layout would would do really well as like meal planning pages because it's so nicely separated. So um, yeah, I'm alternating between those two styles for my monthly pages. And I'm kicking this off in June because although I do have like um, the previous months, like January, February, March, April, like I have those dividers from this meal planner, I tend to toss the pages as the months go on because I don't really care to keep those pages. They're not very decorative. They're more functional. They're more just to help me map out what I'm going to be eating and also just to help me be accountable in terms of, you know, what I'm eating and that I'm eating healthy. So I don't care to like hold on to them. So we're going to kick it off in June. Um, the monthly page, I don't really use it. I think what I'm going to do with these two pages, I'm going to use them as like a gallery of sorts. And I'm going to try to like print photos of all of the meals I cook, the ones that I really like and I'm proud of that are beautifully presented, as well as any like brunches or dinners or like family get togethers that involve like gathering around food. I think it would be great to um, pop a picture of that here in like in this page as kind of like a gallery and not use it as this traditional like monthly calendar. The recipe and ingredients page I'm not a huge fan of because I already have a recipe um, keeper so this is also from the Happy Planner it's really really cute I love like the food photography type of like designs and I have been slowly trying to like fill this up and every time that there is like a recipe that um, that I try out or like that my mom shares with me um, that I like, I'll try to write it down here. And so I have like a good number of recipes in here. And so I don't really need to have like a recipe page here, I guess is what I'm trying to say. 
I don't know. I'm still going to try to figure out how I'm going to use this. Same with the grocery lists. I tend to just use um, like grocery lists on different stationary pads. Like this is a grocery list. Um, this is actually like I have a stationary pad of this on my fridge. Like it's magnetized. And so I just peel off one of these pages and use it. So and I like this design a lot better than like writing in here. But we're going to try this out and see how that works out for me. And then this is the first month of, I mean, first week of June. I have my grocery list here. I didn't really start in, I didn't really start meal prepping and planning until Wednesday. So I just put my grocery list down here and then I just started planning out. And um, sometimes I'll plan things out and then I'll have like a surprise meal. Like I'll end up like not eating what I thought I was eating. And so I'll just have to like cover what I wrote um, with like a sticker and then write what I actually wrote on top of that. So this is what's going on here. Um, I don't really use this like ingredients to prep section. So I just kind of use it as a place to write down some notes and things to do. So here I'm, I just made a note of that I want to add these two recipes to my recipe book. So I got to do that. This is the upcoming week. I've already started to kind of like brainstorm what I want to cook um, this upcoming week. So I have a couple of stickers and we're going to get back to this in a second. We're going to do this together. But let me just flip through the rest of the planner, show you what I how I have it set up. And um, yeah, and then we'll get back to that meal planning. So I have the month of July. Um, from June through the end of the year till December, I have the dividers from the meal planning planner. So all of this like realistic photography, but the actual weeks themselves, they alternate with the teacher layout from this teacher planner. So how I'm going to use these guys, um, I'm actually going to redate things. Um, and I'm going to put the dates up here and then each row is going to be a particular section. So it's going to be breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and snacks. And, um, um, and this last row is just going to be kind of like a miscellaneous slash notes row. Maybe I will make a note of like things I have to prep for the next day, or maybe I'll make a note of like, this was a really high sugar day, or maybe this was like a low carb day or something like that. And maybe I'll also try to estimate the number of calories I'm consuming just to make sure that I'm kind of make, uh, you know, keeping it <laughs> so that I'm not gaining weight. So there, um, there's that. I think that's how I'm going to set it up. I'm going to have to redate everything here on this side, but that's totally fine. I'm excited to use this layout for meal planning. August, we go back into the classic meal plan format. September, um, again, I alternate between this like teacher layout and then October, we go back into the meal planning and so on until... Um, December, which is when the meal planning um, planner ends. But I still have the dividers from the first couple of months in the year, but I already used these, you know, that month. So what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to cover up some of the stuff that I wrote here on the back of this divider. But the pages, starting with the right hand side of the monthly, these are all going to be new pages. Um, pages this month are from the same teacher planner. So again, I'm probably going to cover up some of this stuff here with like the, the pictures and photos and like my photo gallery here. So I'm not too worried about how some of these um, dividers have some stickers already on them. Some of this, like some of the designs like I have on these dividers are like, I think they'll transfer well. Like I, I can totally leave this. And I can leave that even and then just put photos all over. I can leave that. This probably I will um, cover up. But like this is super cute and I can totally leave that there. So, uh, oh, actually I have um, another month of the meal planner here. I thought that I started exclusively using the teacher style, but I guess I have another month of the meal planner. Then we have March. Again, like I can leave this here. I'll probably cover these up. 
And then we have the teacher layout pages and then the month of April. And again, this I can leave, this I probably will cover up. We have another month of the meal planner. And then we have the month of May. This is gonna be a teacher style. And then I run out of the meal planner pages or the dividers. <clears throat> and so I decided to use some of my pressed floral dividers um, that I'd used already previously in another planner. These are a lot more heavily decorated on the back because I used them in a creative journal and I already tossed a lot of the pages from that creative journal. Um, I know they were cute, but I don't really like I didn't really care to, you know, hold on to them too long. So in this case, what I might do is I might just leave them like this and then use this page here as my little photo gallery. If I so choose, I might even um, want to use this page as well. Or I could even, I don't know, um, put in some scrapbook paper instead. We'll see what happens when I get there. But I have another month of meal planning pages, the month of July. And um, this one isn't as heavily decorated, so I can see myself, you know, using both of these pages. This is going to be the teacher layout. And then we... Uh, I used the last month here with the teacher layout. So on the back, it's just some note pages. And then we have another divider. Um, and then this is when things get a little bit wild. I have a huge stack of paper here. Um, these are what I call like my recycled happy planner pages. So these are all like uh, different planner pages that I've saved over the years. I have some meal planning pages. I have some faith pages, some fitness pages. These are just from various planners that I've thrown in here. A lot of these are pages I haven't used or like I barely used. Um, a lot of the times if I made a spread but I never like actually wrote in the spread, I saved the pages because I could see myself using them at some later date. And so um, I, I wanted to recycle some pages. And so I pulled for some color block pages um, just to see how the color block would work as a meal planner. So this is color block pages from the Painterly Pastels color block. I was using this planner as a relationship planner. It was my boyfriend's idea, but it didn't really work out. So I ended up just kind of ending this planner. Some of these pages are like lightly used. Some are like a little bit more moderately used, but I feel like I could um, use these still. So between these two pages, it's kind of moderately decorated. They also don't match with each other. So I'm not sure what I will do here. I don't know if I want to cover this up and this up and still keep it together or whether I'm just going to like use filler paper to just like cover it both up and then use it as a gallery. I don't know. We'll burn that bridge or cross that bridge when um, when it comes to that uh, comes to that month. This is going to be uh, August 2023. So it's definitely way far in the future. So as you can see, this spread barely used. Um, what I'll end up doing is probably just covering the text with stickers and then leaving these guys here and then just working it around it. And then this spread, I really tried to use it, but um, it just, yeah, it just didn't really work out. So I have um, a lot down here, but I'm just going to have to um, work around it. This one I did slightly decorate, but it's much more... Um, it's going to be much more usable than this one here. I might have to pull off some of these larger stickers using undo when it comes to that week. So that is that month this week I didn't use at all. And then we have the monthly overview and all the dates are going to be completely, um, completely like off the mark, but that's fine. I'll just like redate. Then we have September. This one's super decorated on the back, lightly decorated here on this side. Again, I might have to, um, I might have to just cover this up completely with, uh, with scrapbook paper or filler paper or something. We'll see what happens. And then the first week for this month is going to be absolutely plain. I'm going to have to redate things, but that's fine. Here I used some stickers, but uh, not too heavily. It didn't do anything here. I could probably cover up quite a bit there. And then this 
spread. I just have a couple of stickers here and there. I could definitely reuse this. And then <laughs> I didn't have any more of, of this type of um, color block. So I had to switch and I threw in this color block page, which has just gray accents, which I don't mind. It's, it'll be fine. I've used these, um, these, these meal planning pages really, really functionally. The aesthetic doesn't matter as much to me. So then we have October. Um, I don't have that much written here, so that'll be fine. And then we have the teacher layout. And then for November, um, slightly written on on this side, but I can cover that up pretty easily. And these pages are completely blank, so I won't have to work around anything. Um, that's That'll be nice. I'm trying to alternate, um, like using recycled pages with using pages that are pretty blank and I don't have to do too much like work to, you know, get them up to like a usable style. So that way it kind of gives me a break. And then the last month, this divider is actually from the Celebrate Planner. It was aligned vertical. I wanted to have this divider for December because it has all this beautiful food and it just, December is such a happy, fun month. And it's, oh, it's one of my favorite months of the year because I get so much vacation in December. I get at least two weeks of just relaxation and good food and spending time with family. So um, it's really nice. And then the monthly, completely blank. Um, and then the last month I have in here is the teacher layout. <clears throat> and that is it. That's all I have for this meal planner. And I'm excited to really get into this meal planner. So let's get back into the month of June and let's set up this week here. So it's going to be really, really simple because I honestly do not uh, decorate too much, but yeah, let's get into it. I'm, I'm going to be using the food sticker book and the Southern Farmhouse sticker book. I've got both of these um, in my latest Happy Planner order. Um, I placed a huge order on their website for the Memorial Day sale. I got so many goodies and these were some of the goodies that I got. I got this food sticker book and this Southern Farmhouse sticker book. This one I specifically got because of my meal planner. So let's get into it. I have a couple of things already on here. Um, I tend to cook twice a week. Um, that's kind of like my standard of cooking. Once is a little too little and three times is a little too much in terms of like money and time spent, um, you know, cooking. I feel like two times a week is like my perfect like amount of cooking. And granted, I am like a single woman with no children. I mean, I have a partner, but we don't live together. We're long distance, so I don't have a household. I just cook for myself. So twice a week is perfect for me because I am just cooking for myself. So let us, uh, let's start here. So Monday prep will carry me through, you know, Thursday lunch, and then my Thursday evening prep will carry me through Sunday dinner prep. And of course, I'll be throwing in like um, little meals here and there. So let's get into it. Let's start off with Monday. So let's start off with breakfast. I tend to eat like the same breakfast. I, have, I alternate between like three different breakfasts and um yeah let's let's kind of alternate so monday wednesday and friday i'm going to be eating avocado toast really really simple it's just some toast with some avocado and i always top it with an egg avocado toast and some spicy mayo with with egg So avocado toast. And then Tuesday and Thursday, I'll do oatmeal. Oatmeal. Um, and then I'll top it with berries, 
nuts, and uh, what else should I put on my oatmeal? Let me know. I always struggle with like finding good oatmeal toppings. Berries, nuts. So Tuesday and Thursday, oatmeal, berries, and nuts. And then Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, I'm gonna go with, I'm just gonna treat myself. Saturday is kind of my day to get some sweet bread, like some Mexican sweet bread, pan dulce for breakfast. I might have to get, pick some up there. Um, and a bolillo relleno which is kind of like um like a bread roll stuffed with like cheese ham and jalapenos it's super good so at least sell that at my local like uh, panaderia or like bread shop so i'm gonna treat myself and then sunday it's gonna be a really simple eggs sausage and um toast breakfast so a really simple breakfast there and then monday for lunch i'm gonna meal prep this herb pesto pasta i'm gonna have that for both lunch and dinner All right, I think we're done here. Super simple, not the prettiest, but you know, I just kind of want it to be functional. I'm gonna try to get better at making it all pretty, but right now I just want it to be more functional than anything. So this is what we have set up for the week. I am eating avocado toast with egg Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Tuesday, Thursday, eating oatmeal with some berries and nuts. Saturday, I can kind of treat myself to um, pan dulce and nabolio relleno for breakfast. Sunday, I'm just having egg, sausage, toast um, for breakfast. Monday, I'm meal prepping some herb pesto pasta and just making enough to carry me through um, until Wednesday. I'm gonna eat that for lunch and dinner. Monday and then lunch Tuesday dinner. I'm gonna substitute a green smoothie for my meal. I like to do that once in a while, um, just to eat a little bit less uh, richly and just to kind of, you know, have a, a, a nice healthy, you know, meal alternative. Wednesday lunch, I'm gonna get back into that pasta and then for dinner as well, I'm gonna finish the last of that pasta. And then Thursday, I'm gonna have a green smoothie for lunch, um, which will be nice because I'll be eating pretty, pretty heavily with that pasta for the last couple of days. So it'll be nice to kind of clear out my digestive system. And then I'm gonna uh, meal prep or cook Thursday evening dinner. I'm gonna have this seared salmon and Greek yogurt salad. And then Friday, um, I actually totally forgot. I was already like planning, you know, all the meals for the weekend. And then I remembered that Friday dinner, I'm gonna have a family dinner. I'm actually, I have my graduation on Friday the 10th. Totally forgot about it. So I'm gonna have a really light lunch. I'm just gonna have this coconut date smoothie. It's one of my favorite smoothies. And then for dinner, we're gonna go eat somewhere. I haven't decided where yet, so I gotta figure that out. And then Saturday, I'm gonna just have a green smoothie for lunch again, because I'm eating pretty heavily. Um, probably Friday, wherever we go out to eat, we'll probably get stuffed. And then I'm having a heavy breakfast as well, so balance that out with this green smoothie. Dinner, um, seared salmon and Greek yogurt. I'm gonna pick up enough ingredients to make it twice, or maybe I'll have some leftover. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'll just make sure that I, you know, um, make enough for two portions. On Thursday, I'll eat the leftovers Saturday. 
Sunday is also gonna be a, a day that I'm not sure what I'm eating because we're going to the San Diego County Fair with my family and I'm probably going to break every single nutrition rule there is at the fair. I love everything that they serve at the county fair. I could easily eat like a pound of food. I'm gonna get a turkey leg, I'm gonna get a corn dog, um, I might get like a fried Reese's peanut butter cup, so <laughs> things are gonna be wild at the fair, so I'm probably gonna have to balance that out um, the week after with some nice clean eating, so I'll make sure to do that, but that's what's going on this week for my meal planner. I just popped some stickers down here and there and I lined the bottom with this really cute washi tape. And yeah, I love how it turned out. So thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Uh, let me know how your meal planning is going and I will let you go on with your day now. So stay safe, stay blessed and happy planning. Bye.